How to install a fresh copy of Windows 8.1 To get starting the process, you need a USB stick or DVD disk, which is capable to store up to 5 GB of files. And the following free softwares. Image file of Windows 8.1 and Power ISO 2. Let's start step 1. Download the Windows 8.1 image file from official Windows site. Here you need to choose the bit version of the files. If your computer support the 64-bit OS system, then download the 64-bit image file. It will also support 32-bit applications. You can find the link below to download the Windows 8.1 image files. Now step 2. Download the Power ISO tool from the link below mentioned and install it. Now run the Power ISO application. You may use the unregistered version, but you would need to wait until the countdown finish. Now go to the tool menu and choose the Create Bootable USB Drive. It may ask you to run the application as administrator to use the function. So I suggesting you to run the application as administrator from the beginning. Now locate the source file, which is Windows 8.1 image file. Now choose the destination USB drive. Before selecting the USB drive, you need to make sure the driver is formatted and no files exist. Now on the right method, and the file system. No need to change anything. And click start to run the function. It takes up to 30 minutes to finish. Now step 3. Connect the USB stick to computer slot. Then restart the computer. Once the computer start launch, use the F2 or F8 key to access boot menu settings. Unlike the other computer may use different function key to access the boot settings. But most systems are using F2 key. Now use the arrow keys to move the selection to boot option. Select and press enter key from the first boot option, it may shows at first boot device. Now choose the USB driver and press enter key. 
Once you set the first boot option to USB stick, it will start the beginning from the next boot. Now press the F10 function key to save the settings. Once you press the F10 key, computer will start launch once again. Click Next. Click Install Now. Now use the key. You need to buy or find the key from anywhere in the Google. Or if you have the package. You can get the key on it. Now click the next and check the license terms. You can use advanced installation, which is custom install. And now carefully choose the driver partition. The default and the common OS partition is C drive. You can determine the partition by checking the size of the disk. To install a fresh copy, I would like to suggest you to format the partition and install the OS. But remember, which will remove all files and content from the drive. Now click Next, and wait until the process complete. Now, you may see the message to choose Operating System. Click the second OS option. Create a PC name and click Next. Click on the Use Express settings. Create a username and password.
You have finished process. To activate Windows, go to the Settings. PC Settings. Activate Windows. Before activating make sure you are using a LAN connection. Wi-Fi connection may not work to activate Windows. Thanks for watching.